from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crone. You know, we were looking at that data uh, early Saturday morning. It sure looked like we were going to get, you know, tagged with that thing. And then we got here and started tracking that storm system. We can see that bow echo starting to develop um, kind of near Oklahoma City, just to the north of Stillwater. And then once it got just east of I-35, it just started to take off. And unfortunately, it went right across the metro. It was going to hit somebody through northern Oklahoma. And this time, it was just right across mostly uh, our immediate area. Areas to the south, you know, fared a little better. Areas to the north, a little better as well. I mean, everybody got hit with it, obviously, but especially right around the metro area. Uh, this morning, again, temperatures are into the 60s. This afternoon, sunshine in 93. Uh, we have the heat advisory, as Tess just mentioned a couple of minutes ago. Heat index 95 to 100. So those numbers are actually technically below what you would normally see uh, for a heat advisory, which is 105 or higher. Now, we go from south central Oklahoma into the Texas area. Now, that's the real deal stuff here. I mean, this has been going on for a very long time. Uh, we have heat advisory, even excessive heat warnings that are underway. So some of that heat is going to try to move northward over the next several days. So 86 at noon today, 3 o'clock at 93. Uh, we'll still be in the mid 90s, lower 90s at 6 o'clock, 7, 8, 9 o'clock. Then I'm going to drop down to about 84. Now, as I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, there's a small signal in some of the high resolution kind of fancy model data that there could be a, a couple of isolated showers and storms overnight and early tomorrow morning, but mostly in this shaded area of green. That would be near Okima southward. Uh, Pittsburgh County, it's about a 10, 20 percent opportunity for late tonight and pre dawn tomorrow. Uh, we look at the next couple of days, it's still very low probability. We have a slight chance Thursday for our part of the state. And then over the weekend, about a 20% chance once we get into Saturday night and Sunday. There's a complex of storms that'll drop down southern uh, Colorado and western Kansas on Wednesday. That'll brush the northwestern part of Oklahoma. But again, that's going to stay away from us. So we're above normal temperatures, limited storm chances. Now by the weekend, by the weekend, even though the ridge of high pressure is starting to build in and it brings the heat, the upper airflow will be from the northwest and we may have a storm complex that will develop up here and try to sneak down into our area. So it's a low probability, but then that's something we'll be watching as we get closer into the weekend. Right now it's 70, the wind calm, uh, 60s across the metro. We have some 70 degree weather elsewhere. So it's 63 in Tahlequah, 63 Stillwater, 70 Tulsa, and 63 in the McAllister area. High temperatures today, 93 in the metro, 93 Stillwater, 91 Tahlequah. Winds out of the southeast tomorrow morning, upper 60s and lower 70s. And then Tuesday afternoon, we're going to look for highs just a little bit warmer with the southeast wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. We'll be into the mid 90s. So heat and humidity basically is the story for the week. We'll watch the upper air flow for a few shower and storm chances. Uh, again, overnight, early tomorrow, southeastern Oklahoma, Pittsburgh County, you got a slight chance. Uh, Wednesday, the western part of the state, but not here. Thursday, we may have one nearby, but again, very low probability. And then over the weekend, Tess, oh, we'll check uh, at least a chance for a shower storm Saturday night, early Sunday morning.